I love to come here and photograph, experience nature, and it's healing. Stepping into Oaks Bottom Wildlife Refuge, nature photographer Jonathan Swanson contrasts the calm surroundings with the excitement of what he finds. I think it's a necessity for people. The distractions from daily life are his focus. There's literally 200 species of birds that share this small pond. Bald eagles, bittern. I've seen more birds today than probably all year. Touting the diversity of the refuge, Swanson seriously undersells his photography skills. The shots he takes, he loves to share. Give people uh, something to see that might distract them or give them some kind of balance or peace. Being familiar with most of the birds at Oaks Bottom, what basically fell out of the sky last week made Swanson do a double take. A very graceful interaction and I observed them almost dancing and it was almost like a ballet. They're called tundra swans. They're also called whistling swans. I've never seen them here and I was able to photograph them. I made a little video and I put some music to it. Some of my own original piano music. These birds are breeding in the Arctic and along the coast of Alaska. So it's pretty cool that they flew probably in, uh, a minimum of 1,500 miles to be here. Brody cast Talbot as an educator with Portland Audubon. Tundra swans, he says, are a common winter species, but they usually prefer larger habitats like Savi Island. They can live you know, up to 25 years, which is an eternity for birds, and they uh, mate for life, which is also unusual. My parents have been together almost 70 years, so I thought there was some symbolism with that. Turning his escape into inspiration, Swanson hopes this captured moment can help others retreat to their own place of refuge. I've seen different bird species sharing the same space. For the most part, they all get along. And I thought, well, that's something that we can certainly learn. In Southeast Portland, John Goodwin, KGW News.